titled Son of Africa. <laughs> Be quiet and calm, my countrymen. What is taking place now is what you came here to do. We are all going to die. Jim Jamangile, do you remember these words? Spoken by Reverend Gyoba, as the English Channel swallowed you and 600 men. The tragic tale reverberates like rattling rifles at war. Despite this, there was no surrender, as many took on your boots. That was a very unpleasant uh, night to all the inmates of SS Mendy. Clearly, Black Lives Matter is a century-long campaign. Unarmed, you are part of what's perceived a white man's war. Stunned by your bravery, Mnwabisi, your brother's son, took up arms. But this was a different kind of war, on home soil. When I joined the National Defense Force, or when I decided to be a soldier. I joined like any other person. Just, I want to defend my country, I want to go and fight for my country. The battle continued through the years. And soon, under the blue African sky, we would be equal. Jim Jamangile, your sons and daughters from either sides of the battle line stood guard ushering in the Commander-in-Chief. It's a new political landscape. And to oppose all that may harm the Republic. Aldrin St. Pierre, SABC News.